Let's see what we've got here. This is a little uh, 12 volt panel, digital voltmeter, a USB charging port, 1 amp and 2.1 amps, and then a 12 volt uh, lighter socket. It looks like it comes with some uh, wiring harnesses. We got inline fuses there. I'll have to see what the values of those are. Yeah, that looks like a nice little uh, package there. I think it was around $17, $18 if I remember correctly. And that came from, I think the seller was Amazin EA. A M A Z I N E A. So, yeah, there we go. So that's today's post bag. I finally had a chance to get this uh, motorcycle 12 volt accessory panel installed out in my shop. So this has a 12 volt lighter plug, voltmeter here in the middle that's monitoring my solar battery bank, which is kind of nice. It actually lets me see what the voltage is when I'm here in my shop area and I can't see the charge controller so I can monitor the state of the battery bank here and then on the left side is a dual USB outlet and right now I've got my Raspberry Pi Model B Plus plugged in there. You can see it's taking 150 milliamps right now. It's idling and it looks like we got a pretty good voltage, 5.14 volts there on the USB. So one of the reasons I wanted to do this was because my TV set, old analog TV, it has a USB out, but I found the converter that drives that output takes about a half amp at 12 volts to run, about six watts of power, and you know we're producing about one watt of output here. So that was the case even if the TV was turned off. So it uses about one amp of power when it's on. The USB was plugged in, it was still using about a half an amp when it was off. I gotta test it now to see if the current goes down, I'm hoping it goes completely off when it's turned off, but I guess I'll find out. I'll have to check that out. So, okay, so I did a little uh, test here, and this TV running off of 12 volt power, it's still consuming about 300 milliamps with uh, no USB plugged in. So good news is I saved about 200 milliamps, two tenths of an amp, which is good. And then I can actually probably keep this running because it probably is only using 100 milliamps. I found these little uh, small USB converters are pretty efficient and to use just a little more power than they're putting out. So I need to actually check that one. This way I can just shut the TV off without having to worry about powering the Raspberry Pi down because it'll have its own constant power and I can also keep track of my battery voltage right there. I can charge any other USB devices. So far I'm, I think I'll just leave this on full time. I need to actually check and see how much current it's using. 